Hello guys, welcome to the first video of my tutorial series on awesome Linux terminal. So in this series, we will be focusing on getting ourselves acquainted with the basics but very useful commands of a Linux terminal. So I'm not a Linux expert, but through this video series, I will try to explain everything that I know and which may come handy for a new Linux user. So basically, a Linux terminal or shell is a command line interface okay so as you type any command that command tells your operating system what to do okay so a shell can be of various types and the default shell for linux distributions like ubuntu red hat etc is uh, bash okay so we are going to work on a bash shell right and uh, so this is the very first video and in this very first video we will be seeing how we can navigate through directories on our linux system okay so let's get started so in order to open a terminal you just need to um, press the keys control plus alt plus t and a terminal will appear like this right so let us interpret first what we are seeing currently on our terminal so First of all, you can see there, um, it's the username, like it is written Nikhil. So this is the current user's username, okay? And after at the rate of, this is the, this is the name of the hosting server. So it is the name of the host name, we can call that. So this is what it is like, Nikhil Lenovo G5080, okay? And after that, this tilde sign, is actually a symbolic sign to your home directory the current user's home directory so after this colon it tells you where you currently are what is the current directory and then this dollar sign indicates that after that the user can start writing their commands like this right so this is the current interpretation okay so in order to navigate you first need to know where you actually are right so in order to know what is your present working directory you can simply type a command like pwd present working directory and you will know where you actually are so it is right here right here slash home slash nickel so i'm in current users home directory okay and uh, just as i told you before this is represented in symbolic form with a tilde sign here as it is shown okay so this is what we have learned right now okay now let us see what is the directory structure of a linux system so here you can see um, a root directory is represented like this right so a root directory is at the top level after that these are the child directories and in these child directories one of them is home as you can see so this directory contains all the users home directories so like i had uh, a user nickel right so it is slash home slash nickel okay so this is how the directory structure looks like so what if i want to move from one directory to another right so for that we use a command called uh, cd cd means change directory okay so change directory from where i mean change directory change your current directory to which directory you will have to tell that right so you can give here two type of paths one is called absolute path and another one is called relative path and so first of all we are gonna see how we can give absolute paths so absolute paths are given in terms of the root directory so what if i just type cd slash so it will take me to the root directory okay so i am currently in the root directory right now what if i want to move to my home directory so i can just type cd slash home so i have entered the home directory right and then cd cd okay now what if i want to do i want to give a relative path so let us talk about relative path now so a relative path is given in terms of the present directory so from home i want to enter nickel okay so this directory 
where we were currently where we were originally right so i can just type cd nikhil so i have not put any slash symbol here right so i mean to say that i want to change directory relative to the current directory and look at that i have entered the current user's home directory right so this out is done okay now what if i want to enter my what if i want to enter my desktop okay so for that you can just type cd desktop so now i am in my desktop directory right so in the desktop directory as you can see here there are several files like lds.jpg and this example directory right so what is the way to know that what are the contents of my current directory okay so to know that we have this command ls so we are now going to see this third command so first one was pwd then it was cd and now we are going to talk about ls so as you type ls it lists all the files and folders inside your current directory so it is lds.jpg and the example directory right so let me enter the example directory so i have entered the example directory and if i type ls i will know that yeah there are two folders sub example 1 sub example 2 and a file lds.jpg again so let me show you yeah it's like this right so this is my examples folder okay now what if i want to know a bit more about the contents of my current folder so for that you can just type hyphen l so this argument will produce um a more detailed version of your files and folders information so look at that here there are there is a lot of information right so let us try to interp interpret a bit okay so first of all this dash symbol means that it is a normal file okay after that rw means that it has the permissions to read and write right then this one is actually the number of symbolic links associated with that file or folder so we are not going to discuss that right now okay so after that it is the owner's name the owner of that file or folder then it is the name of the group to which that file or folder belongs we will discuss about groups later and then we have the size of the file so it's 61876 bytes right and then here is the time stamp you can uh, and here is the time right when this file was last modified so it's may 9 10 8 8 am okay and then at last there is the name of the file so this is a detailed version of what are the contents of my current working directory right okay now let us see another thing what if i want to get a list of only those files whose extension is .jpg okay so for that you just need to put it like this an asterisk symbol then .jpg and it will produce only those files which have this extension okay so this is a cool thing okay now let's move on to next thing that is very handy to know which is how you can move back to your parent directory right um i am currently in example directory right and i want to move back to desktop so for that you just need to type cd and then these two dot symbols so these two dot symbols will basically take you back to your parent directory like this yeah so this is what we can do so this is all about navigating through your uh, linux system and we'll be covering more in the upcoming videos so Thanks for watching and stay tuned